Uh, okay. Braves. Braves. Finished 35 and 25, first in the NL East. Uh, this offseason, they lost. Uh, he's not important. Uh, declined Darren O'Day's option. Lost Mike Fulton Evich, Felix Hernandez, Cole Hamill, Shane Green, Mark Melanson, Scott Shebler, Nick Markakis, Sidney Injury, Tyler Flowers, Tommy Malone, Charlie Culberson, Adam Duvall, and Jeremy Walker to free agency. They added Abraham Almond, Drew Smiley, Charlie Morton. Aherdy Ardania, uh, Nate Jones, One Jason time. Kipnis, and Jake Lamb. Um, Garrett Crochet. <laughs> I mean, a good right. offseason for the Braves. They didn't lose a lot. They added Charlie Morton. Right there. Yep. I mean, Ian Anderson is going to be a stud this year. Mm-hmm. I I hate to say it, and I'll, I'll be straight up and right and say it right off the bat. Mm-hmm. Until someone knocks them off, this is a team to beat. Obviously, their their pitching okay. is really the biggest question mark. Their rotation. What, what does their bullpen look like? And their bench. Here's their bullpen. The bullpen. You got Smith, Martin, Minter, Matt. Be closers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's the same bullpen that they've had over the past few years. So nothing, it's not, nothing special. It's nothing good, yeah. Scott I mean, Newcomb's going to be interesting when they thought. Why? Because yeah. they've tried to move, make him a starter. They've tried to pitch him long relief. They, I don't think they have a plan for him. But he's been a reliever for the past year and a half now. At least. Yeah, at least. They, I, they tried to give him a couple starts last year, if I remember correctly. Um, I mean, yeah, I'm sure he came up he as a starter. Spot, because they, they had so many injuries in their pitching. They, he should be yeah. a starter. He should be a starter, but he – well, you know, faltered. What are you gonna do? Yeah, the, the question then becomes Soroka's health. I don't think no. that there's. When gonna is be he a, gonna come back? I don't think that there's gonna be an issue with Soroka, personally. You don't think so? No. I don't think so. Why would there be? Well, it's it's more of a are they rushing? Is it gonna be end up being rushed back? How is the no. knee? Or it was Achilles, right? Achilles. Achilles. They're, ne- they're not going to rush him back. They're not going to rush him. He'll be fine. Yeah. The Achilles, right. you know, you take your time with that, and uh, he'll it's, be fine. But it's really what can that what can they do until he gets there? So, use the five guys that they have. This. I mean, this is a this is a decent rotation. I mean, the top three are good, definitely. Yeah, Freed, Morton, and Ander- Ian Anderson. Yeah. You know, Smiley. All right, will be better this year having a full yeah. full spring. Yeah, you hope. At least, his and stuff then, is is nasty. He just yeah. Did. And then uh, they also have uh, what's his name, Bryce Wilson, down in uh. Yeah, he was good. good. He was good. Mm-hmm. He was electric, and he wants their bench. Mm-hmm. Solid bench. Big land. I forgot about him. Three. Uh, yeah, you have Camargo and Insiarte on your bench. That's that's pretty fucking solid. Yeah. Jake Lamb too. He's a nice uh, yeah. power hitting lefty. And Alex Jackson isn't a bad catcher either. Nah. Nope. He's not he's okay. Okay. He's a he's a, he's an okay backup catcher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's a solid backup catcher. He's serviceable. He uh just compared to what he was supposed to be. I mean Jake Lamb is kinda right at this point. No, Jake, Jake Lamb had a good start to his career. He uh so it's still a nice lefty bat, you know. Yeah. And Camargo is very versatile. Yeah, and it's yours as a defensive wizard. He's lamb against Yard lefties, there. so just don't play him in the outfield against us, hopefully. Uh all right, let's go back to there. I mean the lineup is deep. Beautiful. The lineup lineup. is deep no matter how you look at it. Acuna, Albies, Freeman, Ozuna, Darno, Swanson, Riley, and Pache. The first four are locks, pretty much. You know what you're gonna get from them. The bottom four is really the problem. The Darno, Dansby Swanson, Austin Riley, Christian Pache. Uh, yep. It, yeah, what what Darno are you gonna get? Yeah, you don't know. I mean, he had a fantastic 2020, and yeah, and good, and good for him. You know, we're Mets fans, obviously, but you know, he's a guy you, you wanted to see succeed. Yeah, no, good, good for him. Easy to root uh, for. And uh, yeah, he had a good, good 2020, great 2020, and he had a uh, a solid 2019 after being released from the Mets and bouncing over to the Dodgers and then going to the Rays. He had a good, he had a good 2019 too. Uh, Dansby. I guess you know what you're going to get from him by now. He's a good defender. He's 
not, not, not I think really hit 250, 260. Yeah, that's really what you're asking for him, from him at this point. Riley is the real boom bust. Yeah, he's yeah, yeah, make or break. But I don't think he makes or breaks this lineup. No, not at all. And then Pache, he, uh, you don't know what you're getting. Yeah, Pache, you don't know what you're getting. You know, you're getting elite defense, but and you're getting a lot of speed. So yeah. And again, with Riley at the third base position, you still have Camargo. By the way, so Chris, if he struggles, you have a starter right there. Pache wears a star David. Remember that? Yes, he does. Yeah, we got to look more into that. A, a bunch of Dominicans. A lot of, a lot of these Latin players yeah. wear the star of David necklaces, which I find interesting. Are you bringing that up because you're in the presence of two Jews? <laughs> uh, no, I was just I just remembered it because I saw that he's wearing a necklace in the picture. Ah. I just thought yeah, I, I, I just remember it. I remember him wearing it when he, they were facing the Mets, and I was like, "Wait, he's wearing a star, David. That's interesting." It's interesting. It is, and we'll have yeah. to look more into it and maybe do a do a full full investigative report on it. Yep. Anything right. else? Any other? You guys at this point, thoughts? let's get a player to watch. All right. I got Ian Anderson. Okay. That came up shoved last year. Um. And he's got great stuff. Obviously, he's a top prospect, top pick. Um, I, I just, I really think if he has a good year, this is gonna be a, a, a Braves team that's gonna be very hard to beat. Okay. Have I mentioned I met him for like the fifteenth time? <laughs> that's the guy right there. It's a good pick. Grab a star now. Why? We talked about it. And he yeah. finally be what he was touted to be. Like, yeah. he had a great year last year. Let's see if he can put it together yeah, over the full season. probable 130 that he's going to play or 120. Yeah. Right. Billy, what you got? Max Freed. Great name. Gross. Great first name. Yeah, I kind of – yeah, it's okay. Uh, now, um, now, now you want to you <laughs> change your answer now? I, I kind of do. <laughs> um, Why Max Freed? Uh, he was the ace of the team last year. He had a great year. Um, will he do it over a full season? Will he do it in a full season where he's not just facing one division? You know, I think that's really the biggest thing. Uh, yeah, he's their ace now, apparently. Um, well, cause, yeah, it's because Soroka's not there. Yeah, because Soroka's not there. He's the ace of the time being. And... Can he do it over a full season? I'd like to know. That's it. All right. Records. 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 How many wins? What's what's the over under, Billy? Uh, one sec. Oh no. The over under from DraftKings is ninety one point five. Yeah. I say to hit the big nine zero. This is a ninety one ball club. No matter what, waste it. Yeah, 91 for Mike. I got 93. Right. And we've talked about this. You know, we're going to see a lot of high numbers from this, this division. We've talked about how it's easily the best division in baseball. Uh, um, I'm just I'm just giving my reasoning. is because yeah. – so, Pakoda has them at 82 and 80. Yeah, what the fuck was that about? They're, they're always ranked very low by – Pakoda and everything prior to the season. Anybody that does like these simulation things, they're always ranked very low and they always end up being better. I think the biggest question mark, obviously, you got a bunch of question marks in the rotation. Are they going to do what they're going to do? You know, you know, you're, you know, you're going to get at Charlie Morton. Uh, Ian Anderson, can he have a big breakout year? Hopefully. Do you, though? Because um, he's in a better division this year. That is true. That is true. Thicker offensively throughout the entire division, and he's older. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. Do you know you're going to get what you're going to get at Charlie Morton? You know, it's to me Charlie Morton's oh, the biggest question mark here. That didn't work. One sec. But but to me Charlie Morton's the biggest question mark in that rotation. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, like you said, Mike Kyle Wright has good has his stuff. But, you know, he's got had a full off season now, and obviously an uninterrupted spring. You know all the, all these these things that a lot of no pitchers had last year. Um, I think he'll benefit the most. 